Hello everyone, you may have known me formerly as Z-Boy. I guess I still go by Z-Boy. These days I'm competing, well, sort of competing, at least online, as Foolish Azazel, Safina player, formerly a Lucky Chloe player in Tekken 7. Uh, but I wanted to cover a match I was really proud of as I've been working really hard in Tekken 8 to improve and get to at least max rank. And that match is versus a Nina player, I believe they go by Odell the Finest, and I had heard of them before and they had been beating me prior, which is funny because on this great app, maybe I'll put a link in the description, Techinlytics, my number one matchup win rate is of course Safina because I main her. The second is actually Nina. So I'm really proud of that because she was one of the first characters I labbed in the game on like the second or third day and I, I stuck with her for a bit to really understand her and I thought she was really powerful and I even pointed out to some people in the community like yeah, this character is like probably top one which I think like I think it's like Dragon of Nina they're, they're considered S tier um, shout out to Inconsiderate Raccoon uh, he was saying I was dumb for that but tunes have changed now uh, either way, um, really proud of how I played in this match and I wanted to watch it and offer some commentary and insight to what was going on and even if you're a Nina player, how to beat Safina and the adjustments I made in the set. For the next so let's battle. go ahead and start it. <laughs> Alright, round first one. round. Fight. And we're just playing grabs right away. Immediately he runs. I'm just gonna turn the volume down because I remember in test it was a little too loud. Uh, Blonde Bomb is one of the best power crushes in the game. Mid power crush, Heat Engager can do it from crouch. And I had a hard time finding it to start out, even though I'm always looking for that. Good combo, fan to the wall, activate Heat. I like to do this setup to keep pressure up. Usually I do the mid 1 plus 2, but I did the Heat Smash. I like to try to get people to duck um, Scarecrow. I really think that's a valuable way to play Safina is to force people to duck Scarecrow a lot because the mids and the lows go so well together. I'm just getting poked in there. If I'm gonna make a step, Jesus man, I'm gonna run that back. He's running these. I'm trying to duck right, so he does back two two. I'm trying to duck to get around this poke game. I like to play defensively versus Nina, because I think her lows are quite um, seeable. But you see, he's kind of playing into that and just really chipping me up really well. Got the counter hit on the blonde bomb. I'm just trying to show him, like, hey, listen, you're going to have to watch the lows. I'll do them. And I, I'm aware of the blonde bomb as well. I don't not duck. That's that You can duck that string. I did a terrible job. I've been labbing that. Either way, I noticed the low doesn't reach me. And I go to run my combo to the wall. Oh, I just missed the wall, that sucks. And trying to control him, uh, Blonde Bomb again. So I really gotta be careful with that Blonde Bomb and see how effective it is. Especially versus Safina because of the stances, but I think the strength can be turned into a weakness, especially with Safina. I'm gonna play Heat Dash here to keep the pressure up. Try to do a mix up, get him to mess up. Reset on the Power Crush. And I'm afraid to approach because of Blonde Bomb. And just Nina has really good approach tools. He's poking me up. I tried it. That's a terrible... Right there, that was terrible. This was a big adjustment I made um, for the rest of the match as well. I'm back too far. Right here, yeah. The so what he did was reverse Ivory Cutter. And that's a safe mid. But how I responded was with down forward strings. And the reason I don't like that is because it's offense that goes nowhere versus Nina. Um, and now I've let off the pressure. And now we're getting close in time. Counter hit throw. Uh, this part's crazy. So I actually went back and labbed this in the replay. I had blocked it in the replay and the time ran out. And the life bars were identical, so I don't even know who would have won. Round four. Fight. All right, so he's getting the better of me. I like to play down forward, two plus three, high crush. I'm trying to get him to duck the stances and also trying to control power crushes. Lowe's will beat the power crush. See if he could beat tarantula in stances. Just trying to give him a lot of things to think about. Uh, bad mistake, good punt. I'm getting chipped up. 
Nice block on both parties again. He's making me think twice about my tarantula. Now I'm in trouble. Alright, I get the power. I get the power crush. I get the rage arc here. Can I make the comeback? I still got heat. He's still got all of his heat left. Ah, this is terrible. He should have rage arc. He could have rage arted me there and that would have been done. So not the best showing in the first round. Um well let's see if I can make good adjustments going forward. And point out better things that maybe he could have done. We already know I'm not ducking strings, but I am I think I do a good job of adjusting to lows and taking a turn. I still like playing that move. I don't care. I'm getting chipped up again. This is not a good start. I like playing the, the Zafina down forward 2-3. It's a high crush. She has a lot of high jabs. I'm trying to get in behind those, uh, under those jabs. All right. He made a misinput. Probably going to play pressure. Yep. Pressure. Power push pressure. Trying to watch out for Blonde Bomb. All right. I panic there. Good control roll. See, I try to duck the string. Ooh, good defense by Odell. Now I'm in trouble. Ooh. Dead. Okay, first round. Still trying to get a handle on the situation. Alright. Play the spacing. Alright, good control. Forward, forward, forward. Watch the power crash. Scarecrow to nothing. I love Scarecrow to nothing. I think that's really good. Uh, Scarecrow enforcing it to get people to react and the, uh, and Scarecrow to back one plus two. It just kind of forced the issue. I think that's how you have to play her, at least online uh, where I'm at. Oh, look at that. I, I do a good job of blocking the down back threes. I don't know. I guess I started seeing them or something or getting a read for his timing. <laughs> I was kind of trolling them there before going down four two from far away. Where's Blonde Bomb? There it is. Okay, so now I'm, I'm cognizant of Blonde Bomb. And I got a big punish, and he's, he's in trouble. Game over. Round over, not game over. Okay, watch out for Blonde Bomb. Watch out for the lows. Get him to do things. Again, that's punishable. Trying to get him to do things. Again, using Scarecrow to make him do something. Wow, I really went for that there. I don't know what my read was. Maybe I thought he would respond with highs and jabs because he had been doing that. Gonna keep the pressure up. I really like this with Safina, so you end on the wall. There's not much they can do with him. Way too far. Okay, this combo, this uh, combo starter two, the Scarecrow down four three three, which I do not recommend. Um, really risky. Uh, you can get better lows and. You won't get this combo, obviously, but it is a instant tornado, so I have to use my heat. And this is something a lot of Safina players do with the wall, is they'll, they'll run this string or get into Scarecrow and do three or two. And what happens is they have to respect the mix up here. So it's Scarecrow, he's ducking because I think I did the heat smash before from the first game. So that pays off here, he ducks. Had he not ducked, I would have been plus frame into my charged up heat down forward one, which is also a power push. So that's very good for... Round four. Fight. Be patient. I'm really letting him back me down. I'm looking for some, there we go. I'm looking for something I can punish. I got it. So now I feel like at this point in the game, I have a lot of reads on him and, um, you know, I'm just watch out for down back three, watch out for blonde bomb, duck high, high strings. And that's the reason why I'm playing this way. All right, power crush, let's see if I get the same game plan. Now I just go for damage. Good punish. Ah, oof, good grab. Trouble. Here I played Heat Smash immediately because I got the hit. So I'm in trouble. I mash three and I got lucky. And um, I guess I could have played a, a, a high or a low if you want to jab back. Ideally, if you're a Nina player, if, you, if you're facing somebody who goes in a raw Scarecrow without an advantage, you can just use down four. It, it'll nullify a lot of options. But in this case, he has no choice. He presses or ducks or something. I don't have the command inputs open. And I get my play here. I was gonna spend that. As soon as I landed that three, I knew I was gonna go right into the 
the two, the two, one. I don't know if that's, oh, I won the, I won the game. I don't know if that's interruptible or not. I feel like people power crush, but I might have too many frames off the standing three on hit. All right, the set is split. I'm gonna go to a final round. This is where I think I really did super well. Fight. All right, cut them off. I'm, what I'm doing here too is I started incorporating this into my game. I'll do like a mini sidestep into a jab. And, uh, it's really not noticeable. Uh, maybe right there. See, I stepped around that and I got the jab. I'm ducking. I'm doing a lot of hard ducks because I know he's going to go for these strings that Lincoln has. I do not get that one after I say that. Oh, man. All right. Nice walk. And I catch him. I'm not sure if this is guaranteed or not. I went. I remember watching this in the replay. This three in the back of the head to heat. He did hold back, but I just landed. And he's getting wall splat for that. Oh, kind of messes up. So this is interesting too. Be, now that Safina is in heat, if you do not know, her power, cr her claw moves from stances become power crushes. And now I've basically turned into like Super Nina in Heat. That's what Safina is kind of. And I play it again because he can't. Not only did he not have the health, he, he blonde bond me. I have a chance to win over his power crush, depending on frames and activation. Fight. All right. This was. This is something I'm starting to do a lot too. This video will play. Backdash into down three. Down three is very reactable for good players. So I go back and try to catch him coming into me. Pause uh, with the down three. Works out. And I'm doing a lot of low moves because I don't want him to blonde bomb me. If he goes for the armor, I'm going to get the counter. Very good. All right. I'm patient. Again, I do not duck the highs. Uh, he's giving me free offense there. Wow, this time I'm react. Now I'm awake to, to Nina. I, I definitely saw that reacted to that. It's reactable. I feel like a lot of her big lows that are scary are reactable, but you have to warm up to it. And again, this is where I play, like I said before, as he beats me. Let's see if I got to the right spot. Yeah, right here. Now he's not ducking anywhere, but you see now I go into this stance and I'm plus and I get my claw, which is more plus frames. Now, I think what happened here is I activated first and he activated last, so he absorbed my hit, and which made his power crush land instead of mine. I mean, you could hear the glass break. He spends his, he baited me here, he spent his um, his heat meter and got me to press rage art. Oh, that sucks, dude, tell me, don't tell me you lost this. No way. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, man, kill me. There you go. <laughs> Round three. Fight. All right, cuts me off. Look at that, good block. I know at this point, I'm not sure if I'm seeing it or not. I think it's 20 frames. I'm anticipating it really, because I know he likes to do that, that flow chart. And um, it's either that or Ivory Cutter. He probably should have tried Ivory Cutter. Either way, I, I, I think I'm prepared here. Oh my. You see what I'm talking about? Come on, come on. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Oh, counter hit grab is so important. It's like the magic four of the game. Look at that tracking. Alright, everybody's even Steven. Oh, good whiff punish by me. I'm really sharp now to what he's doing. Just be careful. Oh, I got hit. No throw breaks. I'm not that sharp in the field. Good kick in the back, and I'm down. Round four. Fight. Let's see. There we go. So I duck the jabs. I look because I know he's gonna do it. He doesn't play in the mids at the start, really. Good combo. Go for damage. No heat. All right. It's plus frames. What does he do? Look, this I love. Look at this step. It's almost like if he was running out of ideas. I'm looking for the power crush, that's why I'm spamming the low. Counter hit grab. What a sidestep there. I love that. I could definitely see the improvements in my game. Look at that. Again, that back dash, down three, runs into me, counter hit. This is a subpoena setup. If you don't know that combo, it's really good. Alright. 
You could probably do it sidestepping as you just did there. Now I'm trying to keep him oppressed. Uh, the reason I did this move back too is really good. So I'm gonna do... I like this flow chart too, so I'll do Scarecrow 2-3 in the block. And then I'll play Heat Burst. The reason I did it is because he's about half health and I want to keep the pressure on him. So I... If, if you don't know this, if you play Safina or play against her, she has a tracking move that's really slow. It's back to it's a high. It's safe. On hit, though, she gets guaranteed um, to 12 frames. So what that means is uh, her heat smash is 12 frames. So if I land that, if you sidestep, um, it's like 70-something. It's like unscaled heat damage. It's really good. Uh, lucky there, you punish me. No duck again on the first stream, but I'm definitely practicing that. And this time I beat out the blonde Dom. He has heat though. I'm not ducking forward three. Ugh. It's okay, I'm picking up other parts of it. Right here, this is so good. As I said, I was picking up on other parts of his offense. Remember before he did, as the video freezes, it, he did the reverse ivory cutter, and I said down forward 1 4 was bad offense, so watch this. Alright, not ducking. He's terrible, but. Alright, anyway. Now is my turn. He's like minus seven or whatever. I play pressure. Looking for Blonde Bomb still. That's very good though. And we find it. Bad punish, but I got something for it. He like goes for the grab. Because I know he's constantly playing a lot of high, so I went for backdash duck into while standing one to confirm. Very good Safina strat. And yeah, I'm really proud of that match. I think my improvement's showing, and I'm hoping I'll hit Tekken God Super, whatever this rank is called, Tekken Taco Supreme or whatever. Um, and just continue my run to getting better. If I get better, the ranks will come, the wins will come. And um, yeah, good matches versus Nina. And according to the, to, the, uh, to the statistics, my second best matchup, Nina, at least for online Tekken. I don't know about offline. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you picked up something. And I'll be doing more of these in the future. I'm, I want to try to cover every character. Um, Safina matches and hopefully provide more insight. Uh, so hopefully, I was trying to give more insight for the Ninas to how to counter, but I'm sure there'll be videos that'll come up and the notes are going to be pretty much the same. But I appreciate you guys watching.